So most of the topics that we've been over in the last couple hey, of Josh, weeks. Josh, move over just a little bit. Most of the topics that we've been talking about. Perfect. We'll hit that. We'll, we'll touch on multiple things once or twice again. You know what I mean? It's all in the same. These are all still current events. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's different people on the show, so we can get different perspectives on things. You know what I mean? Just go over things that we are passionate about. Once again, we're here with the Relative Fam doing the podcast for today, talking about the hot topics. Um, we already went over hate crimes. Now we're all the way into a platonic friendship somehow, somewhere, just having a good conversation, open dialogue. Uh, this show hopefully won't be too long, but it seems like we're vibing a little bit and uh, having a good conversation. But uh, yeah, Shane, I know you had something to say as far as platonic friendships. Yeah, I'm definitely one of those guys who believes platonic <laughs> friendships don't exist uh, because the fact that you guys were talking about how women control that relationship, kind of, and how it's, I believe it's super one-sided because all men, I think all men, are attracted to the women that are around them, regardless of who they are. Most men. Are, to some no, degree. I'm going to say most men because there's a, there's a, there's beta men. There's beta men that don't really aren't, you know what I mean, aggressive yeah. or yeah. feel the same way as even, you know what I mean, even racially. I feel yeah. like there's some men that are more aggressive or have more more testosterone uh, that have, makes them more, have a bigger drive for women and right. be able to handle more women. Right. You know what I mean? So, I <laughs> mean, some dudes are just, you know, can barely handle one woman. That's understandable. You know what I mean? Right, so, so let me let me change my let me change my statement then. Most men, I believe, ha- are attracted to the women that are around them to some degree. So, the fact that that simple fact right there stops platonic friendships from being a thing, a thing that can be maintained and <clears throat> maintained and throughout the relationship. Yeah. Like Marcus said, if there's sexual tension, that's not a friendship. Mm-hmm. There is some weird stuff going on between y'all. Like mm-hmm. if you if the guy is in love with you and you have him in the friend zone, like that's not a friendship. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. not it's manipulation. It is a one sided relationship. Manipulation so no matter feel, how you look at it. So do you feel like uh do you feel like maybe like one of the people in that relationship should like probably step up and be like, hey, I feel like this certain way. I feel this type of way about you. I mean, it usually does happen, though. And it usually does happen. I feel like, and girls are like, well, I don't like you. Exactly. (laughs) I think (laughs) think you're just my buddy. Yeah, I think at that point, the guy should completely drop communication with that girl. Not not to be mean or not to, you know. But I think at that point, like, there's nothing else to the relationship, especially if she doesn't feel that way. There's not dairy one. The woman um, I use. No, it's not. Yeah, the woman I use is not dairy. Should be. But uh, yeah, my bad. But yeah, I feel you on that though. I feel you on that. Well, yeah, friends only is a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, my well, husband friend, nigga. Women are more picky than men, and they they only want what they want. So, I see this a lot. It's it's okay if girls are hit on by the girl the guys that they think are cute right so if they don't find you attractive it's then not okay to hit on them yeah because if they find you attractive it's definitely okay right you know what i mean but they'll take all they'll take all the attention (laughs) they'll take it all they'll take it all and not and not (laughs) admit it or that they like attention but i've known that from personal experience too like I, i wasn't always this cute (laughs) well, you don't have to work. There's no, no way no, you can no, work on is. being. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. That's it, all I'm saying. Like, no, no, no. I definitely used to try. Like, I've always been a charismatic kind of guy, and I like always talk to people. Yeah. But talking to women specifically, I've gotten a lot of. The reaction has changed. Mm. Yeah. From, just from ew. Well, if you guys didn't know, yeah. this guy is... Sick. I say anything now, and they're just like, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which which is nuts, man, because, you know, I, I used to look different. So I used to get all of the attention. Right. Mm-hmm. And it, it's not the same anymore. Maybe I'm older or whatever, whatever. But, you know... You, you, see, you see, like, the difference. Like. I see, I see the difference. But that's why I don't care about my physical appearance, and I just work on my brain. Because mm-hmm. mentally... This is what's gonna last at the end of the day. 
You know? Right. And I'm in shape and I feel good. You know what I mean? I could be in better shape, but I'm not trying to impress nobody. Josh, you seen how I work out? You see how I get done? Like, I can, hey, hey. I can oh, probably no, be wait, wait, wait. the best look wait, 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 wait. guy in the room. The way this man work works out is like, it's no joke. Like, you can tell he was he's on some shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, not steroids. I'm just, I have a lot of energy. Got that stamina back. Mm -hmm. Now, your workout is going to be good. I ain't going to lie. I be putting homies yeah, on the workout you showed me. I still remember them. Well, yeah, platonic friendships. But, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. crazy. yeah, but like, yeah, the uh, thing on platonic friendships, I definitely do feel like, uh, like, you know, they are, they are very aware, uh, they are very known nowadays, yeah. like, you know, I do believe they are very real, because, like, I feel like you can have a, uh, I feel like you can have a relationship, like, you know, with a woman or a man, like, you know, without having any, like, physical attraction or desire to have, like, right, there are those relationships, yeah. but, yeah, I, I have those, a few of them. Those but, are very rare yeah, yeah. relationships. I have a few of them, but like you know, definitely like there is like there is like there there has been like you know some women I have as friends. I'm like you know like you know I wouldn't mind like you know taking her further with her or like you know being just attracted to her in general. But then also have women friends that I could just nigga I could just literally chill with and be talking just like this one and like everything yeah. would be cool. And I don't know how they feel on their on their side about it, but like I know at least on my side, like I like I don't we don't have no physical like. No sexual desire for each other at all. Right. Like, uh, like shit. There's so many girls I can like mention. I'm like cool with. I'm, like, and I just talk to them like they just like they just like the homie and shit. There's something I can't say to because them. it's, it's some, awesome to have a woman's perspective that yeah, you're just cool. They teach you a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I got a lot of cousins and I got sisters. So since and I have all a lot of aunts. But then again, I feel like uh, I feel like that whole aspect comes down to like how you're raised to it to a certain extent. Yeah. Cause like my mom, like one thing I can say, like my mom always imprinted in my head was a uh, just like always respect women, like like I always and I always respect women since like since like day one, like I never I never disrespect women at all. Cause yeah. like, I feel like I look at women a lot differently than like the average per the average guy does. But yeah, my mom just always taught me like you know never never disrespect your mom. Women. Your mom is solid. Man. Yeah, and like and, like that's one thing I did. That's one thing I do love that she taught me. Cause like man, I, I just see like a whole bunch of like just like I like just like niggas in general. Like, you know, you see it like going out to a club or just going out and like and like going out in public, like niggas just be disrespecting girls like mad crazy. But like it just be on a disrespect where it's like, damn, nigga, like, like, like it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, it gets deep, bro. It's it's crazy because I see that too, and uh, it's funny that the guys that they see that actually like pick up girls is just like, oh, that's the guy that's really bullshit. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, all right. If he could buy your love, it's that easy. Shit, let him buy that shit. <laughs> <laughs> let him buy that shit, nigga. Huh. But, let uh, him buy that shit, then. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, Alexa, tell me a joke. Jimmy wow, Fallon, wow, wow. Jimmy that was the Fallon. Most corniest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was so corny that it was funny. <clears throat> Instagram. Hmm. I didn't even know that Alexa could do that. Honestly, <laughs> there's not, said, Jimmy there's, Fallon. There's take not it a lot away. Uh, Alexa can't do. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I remember one time. Uh, I told Alexa her, off. Alexa off. I remember one time I told her, uh, Alexa was trying to play my my homie some music. I can't even say her name without her. <laughs> I remember telling the homie was trying to play some music, and he said, Alexa, he said, play show us something. She played the wrong song. And I was like, Alexa, you're fired. And she was like, oh, man. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Alexa, Alexa's a real, uh, <laughs> if you didn't know. But it was this, funny, though. This, this is a real a woman. This is, uh, this is a topic that we've been talking about. We've talked about 5G. Yeah. So if you didn't know, we're mm -hmm. at a point to where AI is smarter than we are. Mm -hmm. So... They just haven't found a way to reproduce themselves yet. But they are in a stage to where we can't even see what AI is doing. So with with us not being able to see what they do and they haven't learned to repro uh, uh, mm -hmm. reproduce, I don't even know if that's reproducing, or recreate themselves. It would be asexual reproduction probably? Re recreating? Yeah, just re uh, recreating. Re I think I, I think these I think they I think the shit that uh, 
I think that like they've probably been like known this shit or been like doing this shit as far as like. AI, I know. Like, well, because I um, <clears throat> no, I think this last like two years is where it really just ramped up to where advancing and yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. So it's really advanced to where we where we let the cat out of the bat. No, it's. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't matter what we can do with it. It's what it's doing with itself. Yeah. Because everything is connected. You know what I mean? Like it's literally my phone connects to my Alexa. You know what I mean? Your Alexa is connected to the lights now. Yeah. The lights are connected that's like, to your phone. That's, that's like I was saying. I think we're like how you're saying we we're talking about that. That's how I was saying that last time. Like we got like we like in too deep with the shit now. Like you know yeah. what I mean? The cat's out of the fucking bag, yeah. and. What are we gonna do when there's alien ro- or not alien robots, but t- droids ro- around here? Robot robots. I mean, you already see like the commercials. You see like robots in commercials. Yeah, and cars shit, driving like, themselves. Yeah, yeah, like like it's, it's getting crazy. Like, but niggas been seeing the signs for like since like the beginning. Like, nigga, I robot. Like, Will Smith. That was the first. That, that was like the first one, wasn't it? No, nah, like well, it's, not it's, the it's, first it's, one, but like the first. Like, I would say the first like known known one. Right. Niggas, like really started like probably seeing the first eye opener one. Right. But it's I definitely mean, Terminator. Been, yeah, I was about to say, like, yeah, oh, Terminator. Not the only one. I was about to say that. Like, there's definitely Terminator's been other ones a before. real fucking robot, bro. Right. He's a real robot. That's a real good ass movie too. And, um, but like, yeah, like, like this, like we always been getting the signs of like what the fuck is about to happen. I just don't think like we actually expected that shit to fucking happen. <laughs> like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Definitely unexpected. I don't, I don't know how unexpected it is. It just depends on what you pay attention to. Mm-hmm. And I like technology. Oh, I yeah, have no. every night. It's not unexpected. Yeah, we yeah. we, 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 we not well, anti-tech. Yeah, we're not anti-tech, anti-tech over here. Yeah. It depends on what, you, what you're what you following. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I know a little bit more about tech than I do about everything that's happening in pop culture. Mm. You know what I mean? I can't name off a bunch of fucking... Actors and shit. Like, <laughs> I, I know who Denzel is, but that's the only person I really need to know. You know, what I mean, Two Guns is a hell of a movie. I like, <laughs> I like, I like Marky Mark and the Funky Punch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Two Guns is a hell of a movie. I did, bro. It's no, yeah, no, it's a funny bro. ass movie, bro. I like it. You know what I mean? Two good ass actors. You know what I mean? Dueling in these scenes, and that's how I look at it as a filmmaker. I look at it like that. Watch these two compete while they're on screen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm, a, I'm gonna get the attention. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than that, man, Dude, this it is was a, who in that movie? Uh, Marky Mark and and then that. and then the end. And, uh, another good movie is uh, Black Klansman with Denzel's son. That's his son. He's a uh, yeah. Wow. He's also in that show. With, you can listen to him. Wow, I he's haven't also, seen the movie. He's also yeah. in the show. I have not seen it. We'll I wanted watch to it. watch it. We'll I wanted watch to watch it. it. We'll watch. I got it. He's also in that show with the with the Rock, the Ballers, or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he yeah. plays on that that one He, yeah. he kind of like. It's weird because like you can kind of see Denzel in him like a certain. But he little, looks more like his mom. But yeah. he sounds like Denzel. And he's not Yeah, like I was about Denzel. to say like he has like little certain like little Denzel moments that he'll do. You be like, alright, I see it. You can tell he took the acting school of Denzel. That's what it looks like. And he did ask me, did you see Jordan Poole? <laughs> <laughs> he comes in the room with the Denzel speech ass. It's, it's yeah. just like, if your parents are fucking actors, like, how can you even take them serious, like, anything? It's like, nigga, are you really mad? Are you, are you just, like, that? acting? Like, right so, now, scared me. So, like, with that being said, why do people glorify somebody that lies to them on screen? That's why, why, why do they get glorified? Thank you. Thank and we you. have people, professions, like, like, Teachers that don't get paid anything. They gotta be we're willing. We're willing I'm, to, I'm, I'm, I remember when you brought that up last time. I'm we're willing to pay so much money for somebody to lie to us, but we won't pay money for somebody to teach us. Right. Exactly. And the thing is, like, and I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm not against no actors at all, but like, it's like, with what you're saying, it's true. It's like, I'm like, I see it in so many people. Like, they pay so much attention to, like, you know, these uh, these actors or like social media. Uh, uh, Famous people and like they like like damn near worship these people, but like, yeah. people that try to give you knowledge like a teacher or like your mom or like you know your friends that really try to be like you like we take it for granted and yeah. and they don't get shit right because I think I think more often it's more about you know getting people to pay attention to what you're doing and getting that attention you know what I mean I was looking at a post today and this dude was posting about you know giving his girlfriend flowers and, oh I want the world to know that I love you. Like I don't think that's actual. Yeah, I don't think that's actual love. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's just saying. It shouldn't that, even matter. If you know what I mean. 
But I think what it says is, what it really says is that you are, you validate the feeling of people knowing that you care about someone yeah. than you actually have it's like, it's like, it's like, it's Cause like, if everybody says, oh, you love that person. Oh, you guys are so cute. You don't really have to love that person. You just have to show them that. You know what I mean? Like you have to, to make gain, it look like, like it's like you're trying to gain clout off your relationship. Right? Yeah, you know? it's like, right. it's like I love it. Is so much a real thing. Yeah, and like I be man, I be seeing that shit like on. I be seeing that shit on social media so much. Like as soon as, soon as like I see like a couple out, like the nigga would just pull out their phone like instantly, like hey, like you know, just trying to show everybody right. that. Right. Like, so, There's no wrong with like you know you showing your girl to the world and shit, but if, if you start making that shit like. If you start making it like you doing that shit consecutively every single day that you on, like you just pulling out your phone every single moment, every single meal you pulling out, and it's like, dude, you're not really embracing the moment that you have with your woman. Yeah. The fact that anybody's in a relationship and, and if you got time to be on your phone, <laughs> if you got time that. I mean, I, uh, right. I, you should be in a relationship that you're indulging in the person, people, a person next to you rather than, you know what I mean? Being in your phone. What's mm-hmm. on your phone? Yeah. Right. There's nothing there. That's mm-hmm. a it's full of nothingness. You're looking at nothingness. <laughs> it's an addiction. <laughs> well, like, it's an addiction. like like I was saying, like I don't I don't think it's nothing bad with like uh with like showing your girl to the world or flaunting your girl every now and then. But like when it just gets to the point where it's not even about her no more, it's just about you trying to look good, like it's a problem. Yeah. That is how it is yeah uh coming from a person who is addicted to their phone i will you know the first step is admitting it admitting it <clears throat> i actually went on he's a date to, she's about to choke on his i'm gonna choke i'm gonna choke, I'm a choke. <laughs> he's gonna cry he's about to choke. no so i went on a date though i went on a date recently shout out to her she knows who she is i, <laughs> I didn't pull out my phone once the only time i pulled out my phone but is when we walked into the movie <laughs> <laughs> The only time I pulled out my phone was when we went to the movies and I put my phone on silent. Mm. That was it. And I was surprising myself. I was proud. <laughs> That's the only but time he pulled out. At least, at least, like, you know, you're not too much on your phone. Like, at least you're not doing something productive when you're, on your, like, when you're not on your phone. Like, because, like, I know, like, I see some people go on their phone they just, like, literally just doing bullshit. But I know if you're on your phone, you're at least doing something like with work, probably a chick, or, like, you looking up some information. Like, you know, you're yeah. doing something productive with it. But sometimes I'm not. I tell you, be honest, in the morning, I oh. wake up. In the morning, I don't think nobody. That's a completely <laughs> different time. In the morning, uh, in the morning, I don't think nobody. I don't think, I don't think nobody did no productive shit on their phone in the morning. Everybody yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on their phone in the morning. That's how I wake up. That's crazy. I don't even be on my phone in the morning. I literally hop up and try to play Call of Duty because I like <laughs> playing video games with a fresh mop. The morning time is the best time to play video games, bro. Yeah, it is. You bro. are it the is. best. Like when you're wide awake. A cup of coffee in the sticks, bro. I'd be like, fidgety as fuck. I'd be up. Like, I'd be jumping around corner. <laughs> I did catch, a, all my I did catch a dub the other day in the morning, first day. Mm. Hmm. That's interesting. I bet that's like Very the best. Very clean dub. I bet too, that's like man. the best feeling, too. Like the first game, hop on the sticks, the first game, you get that dub. Yeah. But I, after a while, I, I, this morning, I was so pissed because I was playing with people that are complete idiots. And, they were camping in the room that they oh, kept on running in. Yeah. And these fools kept on running in that room. I I tried to run in there maybe once or twice, only because they ran in there before me. I was like, all right, they're going to get hit, and I'm going to be able to at least get two of these motherfuckers. <laughs> and they, their respawn was on the other side of the map. So I was like, okay, if they respawn on the other side of the map, if I get two of you motherfuckers out of here, by the time my guys respawn, we're going to be able to get back in the room. Yeah, right. And that didn't happen. These well, it's Call of Duty or uh, yeah, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, but there's supposed to be some dope games coming out. Oh uh, yeah, man, yeah, really are. Are. Let's, so, movies too. Shit. Let's talk about this topic: top five video games ever. Ever, ever. ever. Man, it'd be hard for me to even say that because I was born in yeah, the I was and in the state of. I mean, just from, from what you know, from you, but from, for, forever like, for you is only you know. Uh, ever geez, is ever so for you. Games, I love. Well, like, my favorite game. One, we should talk about the best basketball players ever. We don't know who played in 1912, <laughs> nigga. You're right. You're right. You're right. I. How many is there? Five games. Five, top five? five. Top five. Okay, one. Definitely uh, 
these are all about to be PlayStation exclusives. Definitely uh, Jack. Jack, oh, Jack one, the first oh. precursor legacy. That shit is just a good and adventure game. Exactly. That would play that. To, to, yeah. Yeah. Play that. It's a great game to play and a great series. Um, Definitely. I gotta give it up to uh, to uh, what's that damn next exclusive I'm about to say? You said PlayStation. Now? PlayStation exclusive. God of War. God of War. I wasn't even thinking about God of War. No, not God of War. <laughs> That's a good game, though. Not no, Uncharted. Game. The damn one with the... The one I never finished. No wonder I don't remember the name. The one I never mm. finished. No. Remastered. Remastered. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Oh. Oh. I that know everyone's going to be so mad at me for not knowing that name. Well, it's my game. I, I'll, yeah, I'll make sure. Like that game is hot. <laughs> that game is hot. I never finished it either. That game is hot. My sister um, loved that game, too. Honestly, that's Jacob's one of Jacob's favorite games. Uh, like the, the like the gameplay I've seen of it, and like that sh- that shit looks pretty intense. Like it looks like a really good game. Yeah, like a really really good game. Uh, if you didn't know, Shane has a stream. Uh, what's the stream? At? One cozy llama. No matter what surface you're on, one cozy one llama. One cozy llama. Yeah, that's two spell L's in llama. Spell it out for him. And just to let you guys know, I'm gonna let him spell that out. We have this podcast is gonna be on so many platforms. We're gonna be on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we have a regular RSSS feed. Anything, uh, anything that you can drop on, we're going to have a LinkedIn. <laughs> we will have a LinkedIn. Trust me. We will be on every platform. We will be releasing. But we got so much stuff coming. But yeah, like I said, we got stuff that's connected to what we're doing. Like we're talking about video games. Shane will be streaming every day because <laughs> that's what we do. And uh, yeah, we're back to The Last of Us. Uh, that's two it. games that you have. You have Jack, Jack, Jack and, uh, and The Last of Us. Last of Us. So um, that is One Cozy Llama, O-N-E-C-O-Z-Y-L-L-A-M-A. One Cozy Llama. No spaces in between. That is all together. One word. Keep it tight. So game number three, best of all time, I'd have to say... Forza. 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 That's not a PlayStation. Exclusive. That's not a PlayStation exclusive. That's an Xbox. Game. Yes, number three, Forza. It is not a game. It is a simulation. Oh, like Real life simulation? driving simulation. Oh, yeah, like it's like, uh, Forza is ill. It is ill. If you've not played Forza one through six, I know Forza, Forza no, Motorsport no, or Horizon no. one through four, you need to get on that right now. If you don't have an Xbox, check yeah, out some gameplay. Like, what is that? They Matter of fact, I might just upload some gameplay on Mixer for y'all playing Forza. If you haven't seen it, um, great game, impeccable graphics, definitely uh, a runner-up. Well, it was the, one of the first original simulations, but what's the one on PlayStation? GTR. G, uh, GTR. Uh, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, yeah. It, Gran Turismo is definitely close. Um, what Need for Speed Payback is doing right now is definitely a blueprint copy of of Forza. Mm. So if you play Need I for Speed, the last one. If you haven't played the new Need for Speed <laughs> Payback, that shit is ill too. I have that as well. Really? That game is all bad things. About <laughs> you heard bad things about it? I, I can have, see why I you have, heard bad I things, have, but it's a I good. Played, I have the last, one, the one before. That. The one before. Okay, yeah, yeah the rivals. Was think, it rivals or yeah, I think it's rivals. You know what? You may have heard bad things about it. You could have. Mm. I think the reason I've always liked it. Need, I've been playing Need for Speed since, since you was PlayStation first. One. Okay, for sure. So, then, then you might like it. I think you will like it. I, I think the reason I like it is because it is like Forza. Like, mm. it's really good. But driving the situations are a lot different. Because yeah. I have Gran Turismo. Uh-huh. And most people that play Gran Turismo with me can't race with me. Because cause you really have to it's get like into the turn. Yeah, like really, 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 really yeah. So, like, I know that when I play the game and fools are coming in hot. Sh- yeah. You're playing it like a car, like a, like a arcade, arcade kind of, like yeah, a arcade game. Or See, whatever. now Forza, it's the same way. You got to be able to slow down in the turn. So, are you Need saying for speed? Need for Speed's always been an arcade arcade yes. <laughs> now, Need for Speed is definitely less arcade or less realistic than Gran Turismo and Forza. Yeah. Because you can use NOS and all that extra stuff, like you're drifting, well, like Forza, you specifically you have the, to drift. On Forza, you can't use nitro? Or no, nitro. there is no nitro. So it's like real, real. I mean, because you don't race, race with that in real life. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. It's like real. Never, they won't let you do that. <clears throat> You're not going to play yeah, yeah, Did y'all ever fuck with the, uh, did y'all ever mess with the, uh, Yeah, one more. Oh, my God. Yeah, one more. One more? Yeah. That's two more. That was only three games. I just mentioned three we games. Oh, yeah. Four is oh, number yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. number four. Number four. 
I can't even think of Three any pretty good pretty games. Pretty. I want to go with. I'm gonna say GTA Five for number four because I like you know I'm definitely of GTA. As, yeah, <laughs> GTA, man, like, because of GTA, GTA that's what you gotta say. I would have I almost put Red Dead right there. Mm. Because of how good Red Dead is, I haven't finished that game either. Very, it is fantastic. People say that there's so much fanboys about Red Dead, but I never hear one anyone talking about the first Red Dead. Because like the first the Red Dead was boring. No, I love the first but one. You loved it. Why, why, and why I didn't finish that game. Why did suck dick on the second Red Dead? If they didn't because they revamped it. it. The second Red Dead is... Because they seen how GTA closer. 5 was, and they're like... And they, that was uh, the expectation. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I but I like GTA 1 when you used to run around and fart. Oh, right? uh, yeah. And fart and burst. Right, yeah. Like, I've been playing that. GTA forever. That was the first one. That's I remember, why, I remember that's the first GTA 5, because I've been playing GTA forever. I remember when the first GTA, you could, uh, the cuss words wouldn't even, like... They, they wouldn't even cuss. They'd be like, beep! You literally had to follow an arrow, like, in order to get where you had to go. And that shit, man, like... Like just what they did, crazy. what they've done with Rockstar's you know, coming RPG running. type gaming, like yeah. role play, like yeah. that is insane. How far GTA it, itself, just Rockstar by itself, has come. Yeah, yeah. And one, one, one last joint. You gotta give them the glory, man. They said, I don't know, I don't know if it's true, but they said they're probably not gonna drop a GTA Six because of Red Dead. Oh really? And they want Red Dead to just do whatever it's gonna do. Oh, so they're probably they do anything they're literally gonna do like how they did with GTA Five. Like you know how they had that long ass run with GTA. Right, like, that yeah. shit came out. That's why they didn't have to play like, that game. That shit came out years ago. You don't really need to do much. Just pat- patchwork it. And yeah. it's an open world game that you can do anything. <laughs> you can buy a club. You can buy, I own a nightclub. Bro, it's like it's like <laughs> it's like it's like if Sims had GTA. It's like Sims, but like just with freaking criminal. Bro, I used to play some criminal actions in it. That's all it is. Yeah, I never even thought about it. Criminal actions in it. And you can hear what they're saying. I fucking love Sims. Like, when that game came out, I fucking love that shit. But one, one more. What's your, what's your last joint you got? And last game, number five. These are not in order of greatness, by the way. They're just <laughs> top five. So You thought about that. Number five. Game that I've... This is going to be one I played all the way through. You know what games I've played. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Mass Effect. Mmm... Probably Mass Effect 3, to be specific. Mm, that's a, man, that's Which a one is in I'm, I'm very... That's the last... It's number four. Okay. That's after the first three. Um, but I'm a very... I like adventurous games. I like games where you have to go through the story. And you have to actually, like... Not, you can't just blast through the story. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the story is the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very into adventure games. Like, like and Mass Skyrim Effect, and, like, Fallout and all that. Yeah, and Mass Effect gave me an adventure, bro. Like, it was, like... It was, like, non-scary dead space. To be yeah, honest, yeah. Like, and I don't play scary games either. Yeah. Like, oh, scary you games. should play Evil Within. Bro. Really? We're gonna play, play Outlast. 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 I have Outlast. Outlast. Oh, yeah. I don't play that shit. Oh, bro, that's... <laughs> I have, but I don't play that. Shit. <laughs> that nigga. Bro, the no. new Resident Evil Two. Have y'all seen that? The new Resident Evil. Yeah. I have seen that. I was gonna show you. I actually do like Resident Evil. Man, my sister was playing that the other day, bro. You shoot like a you shoot a zombie in the chest. You can see the bullet go through him and everything. Uh, like uh, my sister shot a zombie in the jaw. His jaw came out. It was like hanging and everything. Like it's super detailed. Like it's crazy. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna watch that angry review. That that Joe, angry Joe reviews. Angry Joe reviews. No, nah, I like his. You know, Who's that? Dude, yeah. It's a dude on YouTube. He's doing angry reviews. <laughs> I mean, he's not. They're not all all angry, but, oh, but yeah, he does get on people like... for not being <laughs> solid. When you're not yeah. solid, he gets he gets on. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He, like he had a he did a, he talked about uh, Aquaman. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, it's just a mm-hmm. great movie thrown through, but uh-huh. the story's kind of like. Story what did he do that for? Yeah. yeah. No, I watched Venom. <laughs> bro, I watched Venom the other day, right? Like me, my sister, like my sister and brother, they're like super, like like super uh, critical when it comes to analyzing movies and stuff. But uh, we were watching the movie Venom, and like like I told him I was like I like the movie because like I didn't think it was that good, but. I like the movie just because like I found it like funny, and I think it could have been a lot better if they would have did like certain things, like if they would have just like you know fixed certain things in the movie, yeah. like a uh, like the evil guy, like the villain, like you know the guy in the suit. I don't know what the hell his name was, uh, or the actor is, but um he had like no reason to like why he was so evil. You know what I mean? Like he was just like coming up to people, like oh you ain't gonna do this for me. Oh how's your family doing? Let me pay them a visit if you don't do like he had no reason to like why he was doing yeah. what he was doing. And then, like, as far as, like, the, the story, like, wise of it, 
of like how uh, Venom got his powers. Like, like if you can't really have a Venom movie without Spider Man in it, like you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you can though. Well, no, nah, because Spider Man is the one that like he's the one that found out about the whole symbiote, symbiote, symbiote yeah. and he found it on War Planet and shit. And like they don't talk nothing about that like in the movie. You know what I mean? So like. But- in comics, he evolved. No, he yeah, no. So no, you can, know, yeah. you know what I mean? No, it's, but I can, but like, like, like a you precursor wanna, to. No, but I mean, like, if you want to keep like the like the origins of like the originality. No, but I think like, it's gonna but, build up the drama to the Spider Man. No, yeah, no, yeah, I definitely get that. But like, like that was like one of the things that uh, that was like one of the uh, the, the um, things yeah, that a lot of people didn't like with the movie was like like. Well, how, I mean, you gotta think it's a business too, so. No, yeah, and, and, I, and I get that expectation. Like, like, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Movie. Put out the Venom movie first. But what I tell, but like, oh, we're gonna see each other. But what I tell people too is like, uh, like what I get and what I don't get sometimes is like, but. But like sometimes you can't really fit all that information into the movie because right. it's so much. Like right. you know what I mean? So you kind of gotta like chop shit up and like yeah. you know manipulate it in a way. All right. Well, we don't have a lot of time left, so uh, let's get back to the video oh, games. Yeah, okay. Yeah. My bad. Uh, my top five video game. Uh, my favorite video game of all of all time is uh, Kingdom Hearts. For one, I love that the, game. The third just came. Out. Yeah, I think third. I think third was it either just came out or was about to come. No, out. it came it out. Came out, out huh? it, came it came out. It came out already. Yeah, like. I was talking about buying it, but uh, I think I'll probably, I might get it this week. Sure. If I'm allowed to, we'll see how. But, um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Um, I love the game of uh, the Warriors. You guys ever played that? Like, you guys ever played the Warriors? No, I've, no, I've never played it. The I've seen the movie. Uh, yeah, the movie. It's just the movie is just like the game. Like, really, just like the game. Exactly. Um, what else? Uh, I probably have to say my third favorite game. I love Def Jam Fights for New York. Ooh, oh, that's, that's, that's okay. Game. Okay. I love that game, bro. What that mean? game is like All right. the first game that you ever have like rappers just whooping their ass. Like, no, <laughs> like that game was fun. Like, that game was, that game was game. way ahead of his time, bro. Like way ahead of his time. Nah, but I heard, I read articles about them like talking about them. Yeah, I mean they should because the icon, like the last one that came out. Bro, I used to love fighting with them. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> now he, remember when, he, when I first saw him? This nigga like the hardest character in the game. The, DMX and the uh, uh, Red Man. Oh, Red Man, yeah, yeah, Red Man. That was one of my favorite people. Like Vendetta yes. in New York, two favorite, uh, two favorite fighting games. One, two, one of my favorite uh, fighting games. Um, now uh, fourth favorite, my fourth favorite game. Would probably be um so many good fucking games. I'm like I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna think back and be like, nah I should have said this. Um Well it's not set in stone. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is only in pencil. <laughs> this nigga's game. taking an SAT right now. Like, Cause ah. it's only a good game. Uh, I'm thinking about games. more He's, games that I wasn't even thinking about before, He's like the like, divide ship ship track <laughs> by the twelfth power. And, um, uh, okay, fourth favorite game probably would have to be. You guys ever play Mirror's Edge? Yes, love that, that game. That's a great game. Love that game. He's getting um, deep in the game. Man. I have that game. Oh, I have a huge catalog, man. I'm ready to stream. And probably the fifth favorite game. Oh, Smash Bros. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I didn't make that one up. Like, Smash Bros. I'm glad I did Smash Bros. I got something for that Smash Bros. 